Hey everybody, this is a walkthrough of the new project planning and scheduling uh, epic um, that we're rolling out. So from a high level, what we've got here is the ability to set up your project plan, build out a whole sort of Gantt schedule, um, and then you can tie more information to it around costs and hours, and then you can actually use that to schedule resources uh, from the dispatch board um, and see everything that's going on from a visit standpoint. So this first section here is called project planning. In here, you will see the ability to sort of create um, a schedule or a plan in here for your project. Um, we'll automatically start you off with um, any phases you've set up with those start and end dates. And then you can break those down into sort of subtasks or um, activities. Um, we can use um, arrows to make dependencies, and those will update the schedule based on those dependencies. If things shift, um, you'll be able to drag and drag them around, move the dates around, um, so on and so forth. So we wanted to make this first page very simple to use. So all you need to do is just type in a name for a task, and then you can use the visual display to move, extend, um, add dependencies, so on and so forth. Now we can also um, export this out as a CSV or as a PDF. So if you wanna share this with your GC owner or subs, you can export a PDF version or you can download it into Excel and make whatever edits you need before you wanna send it out. Now, if you wanna add more detail, all of these tasks, we can actually go in and we'll have tons of extra information you can add. So none of it's necessary, but if you do, then you can get some extra, bed, extra data. So in here, we can add in labor. So based on your different labor types, how many hours you might need for it. And then we can also add in costing. So we can put in the, you know, the job costing for that activity and how much dollars you think might be related to there. And this is going to enable us in the future to then create reporting saying, okay, in April, this is how much money we're expecting to hit for equipment budgets for this, you know, for RTU install uh, cost code however you want to do it, but we'll be able to have that data for a time duration and dollar amount. Once you've done that, we can then set up your uh, schedule part. So in the scheduling section, what you'll see is you'll be able to see all of these tasks um, that you've created phase. Um, you'll know the start and end date, and then we'll actually be able to see um, how many hours, if you filled in those hours, that you sort of estimate to be uh, set up for that project. And so what we can do is now we know the whoop, now we know the activity, we know the start and end date, we know how many hours, we can assign technicians. This is going to pop up this window. It'll fill in some basic information for you know what the phase is, uh, what the department is, what the task is. If you've got a um, cost code information, you'll be able to see that. And then we can. Uh, and in the description, we'll know the start date, the end date, and then all you need to do is just pick the technicians that are going to be used for this activity. What that will do is automatically create those visits on the dispatch board for you, and then it will update here and show you how much has been scheduled here. So you can always see sort of what you still need to um, schedule out. And then down here, what you'll see is any visits that are scheduled for the project. We'll be able to see the scheduled ones, the ones you're working, the ones that are complete, as well as any daily reports that are tied to it. And you can add a single project visit as well straight from this page. And so what this allows us to do is then bring the dispatching piece into the projects, be able to see everything that's going on for that project, and tie it into that uh, plan, that project plan that you set up um, to get it all scheduled out. So that's the whole run through. The goal here is to give you a good idea of what's going to happen on your project to uh, enable forecasting in the future, and then also to uh, schedule your individual project visits and see everything you got there. So that's the whole run through. Thanks, everybody. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.